welcome back so the next topic in our adobe form learning series is a text model in adobe form using dynamic text content so in case of dynamic text content we can display the data from internal table to the form for the internal table here we can use the table type tsf text with the line type of t line and here we can see the field details of this t line structure first is td format and second is td line so in this demo we will learn how to display the dynamic text using two method in the first method we will take the table in the form of an input this means that we will add table in the importing parameter of the interface using that we will display the data in the output and second we will make use of read underscore text function module to read the text of sales order which we have already seen in the last session and using that also we will see how to display the data so let's log into our SAP system and add the details in our interface so go to t code SFP again I will be using the same interface ZINT01 go to change mode here in the importing structure of this form interface I am going to add one new table of type TSF text TSF text I am making this as optional So first let's display data using this importing table then we go for the second one that is read text option okay so what I have done I simply added one internal table as the importing parameter now go to a form I will create a new form Z, zk adf 04 underscore dynamic text okay create create dynamic text with the same interface zk int 01 here drag and drop this it underscore tsf text in the context area in the context area I will create one text right click create one text node in the previous two, two lectures we will learn text model and include text last is dynamic text select text type as dynamic text and press enter in this field we have to add this table name that is it underscore tsf text here type it underscore tsf text and in the language we can use our language field which we have created okay the same interface I use so we can see all the details main changes in the import I added this internal table fine save and go to the layout now in the layout go to palette data view here I will use that text as it is okay go to the layout I want that at the top in the object and caption I will change this to table as input or table from program here we get the table data from the program I will increase the importing means that is we'll get this data from the driver program right I'll just drag and drop here 
allow multiple lines. I already explained when to use expand to fit it with width and height. Okay, so here I just set the box as per my requirement. Fine, save. Close the layout. Activate the form. Execute. Now, along with the sales order number, here we can see the table as the input. Okay, so no meaning of sales order number initial level because I will be checking only that text. Okay, so Adobe form, let's say training session on Adobe form and our topic is dynamic text display with table type TSF text. Okay, we can save the variant. Effect. Effect. See the output. Fine. I pass the data is the internal table. Fine. So in this way, we can display the data from the internal table on the screen. A second point we'll learn how to make use of read text. So for that, again, we have to go back to our layout, sorry, our interface. Before that, let me just again explain last session what we done. See, last session we learned how to display include text for sales order header text. Here in the VA02 transition code, in the text, first we have find out the details of this header text. That is, go to header, the name, language, text ID, and text subject VBBK. So same we might require to pass here. So same we also require to pass to that read underscore text function model. So I will close this. Same concept we have used in the include text concept that only we have to use here. So in the interface, first in the global data, I will define one more internal table, GT underscore GT underscore text of type same TSF text, TSF text. Okay, GV underscore name is already there. I will require, I may require this variable that I will use here. Now in the code initialization, let me first remove the breakpoints. Earlier in the GV underscore name as passing this, I will comment this because that GV underscore name I, I required. Now here, we'll make use of read text. Okay, it is a function model. So here, click on template. In the call function, enter read underscore text. Fine. So here, okay, first, uncomment all the exceptions. In the output, we have to add that table, which we created, gt underscore text. And the same table, we'll use here, in the output of this function model, gt underscore text. And now, we'll pass all the details. So here, what we'll do, we're getting the sales order with the importing parameter IP underscore VBLN. But here we have to pass that with the proper, same similar type of 
field. Okay, so the field types will be same. For that, gv underscore name here I am passing as ip underscore vbln. We cannot pass ip underscore vbln as it is to function module. It will give runtime error type mismatch because the type of this name is different and this gv ip underscore vbln is different. That's why first we have to pass that vbln to gv underscore name. Open this side client. Now id is triple zero one. Language is Sci language. Name is gv underscore name. And object is vbbk. And in this internal table, we'll get the output. Save. Check. IP underscore VBLN is not initial. Let me correct the error. Save. Check. Now no error. And activate. Okay. Now go back to our form. Which we have created. ZK ADF04 dynamic text. Now what we'll do? From global data, you can move this to context area. Fine. And now I will create one more text object. I'm creating one more text object. It is not required, I think, to add interface to context that internal table. We can directly add here. Now I will rename this text one to let's say SO header and I will change this to dynamic text press enter after selecting dynamic text press press enter now the same in the field pass the table name gt underscore text and in the language we'll use the same gv underscore language just drag and drop a style i'm not using here after save go to layout there is the error Let me check this. Okay, language is initial. Let me go back to the form. SO header. Field is blank. GT underscore text. Okay, now save. Sometime this get deleted. So check properly whether the fields we enter proper or not. Now we are on the layout. Again go to data view. Now we can see our SO header is here. In the same way, I will just drag and drop here. Okay, allow multiple line. Save. Close. And activate. Fine. I will execute this. I will pass the order number 1006. Let's say text from PRG dynamic text training. Okay, now if I press F8, see the output. This is from the 
input table okay and this one from the read text so using the function model read text will get the output in that gt underscore text and that table as it is we can display on the output fine so in this way we done with a session on like printing of text using the dynamic text concepts okay and this in this way we have also done with all the three text type that is text model include text and dynamic text so text on adobe form is done with this dynamic text concept thank you